Howdy, today we're going to be talking about uh, another one of my favorite apps called Edu Creations. This is also a free app. It's basically a virtual whiteboard app that allows you to record both what's happening on the screen as well as audio. You can also import photos and other things into, into the app. So it's right here. Um, it's the white icon. We're going to press it, Edu Creations. Again, today I'm using the mouse to kind of show you what I'm touching on the iPad since you can't see what my finger is pressing. I'm going to start off assuming that you have an account on Edu Creations. You, you are not required to have an account to use the app, but for saving and the purposes of the way I use it in my classroom, I, I highly suggest getting a, a, an account. It is free. Um, you simply just sign up with your email, and I believe you can do that on the iPad or on the web and then you'll use that email and password to log in both on the web and on the iPad. So you can see here I'm logged into Educrations and I have um, some lessons that have already been done. But I'm going to go up here to the top and press New Lesson. And it opens up this virtual whiteboard. At the top, you can see the different tools. When you're done, you press Done, obviously. There's some different colors if you're drawing on the screen, which I'll show you in just wherever I'm drawing on, it records that and I can press the, I tell my kids it's the uh-oh button, but the undo button to um, just go back. You can insert pictures, you can insert text. Um, a new feature they added a few months ago is the eraser and just released not too long ago um, the ability if you're drawing and you need more space than what's here on the screen, if you do a two finger swipe you can slide down and draw some more and then you can do a two finger swipe and draw and go, go down. So it's kind of like an an extended board if you were to need that. So we're just going to undo those and go back to the very top of the screen. So the way I use this app in my classroom is mostly for, in the beginning of the year, is for teaching the kids and um, it's kind of like my virtual journal. But what it allows me to do when I'm done is save that lesson, email that lesson to my parents so they can see what we're doing in the classroom. And, and it's um, something that the kids love showing their parents at home and also um, the parents enjoy seeing what's happening in the classroom. That's one way you can do it for the older kids. It's a great tool for them to you know, do different like book, record, book reports or um, just to share their learning. So I'm gonna show you how simple it is. I've just been drawing on the app with my finger. That's what's on here. You can see there's, there's different colors that you can pick from. It's not unlimited, but there are quite a few colors on there now. You can add text. You just tap anywhere on the screen and you would just type text that can be edited and changed um, different ways. The um, tool we use the most in my classroom is add a photo. So when you press add a photo, you get the option how you want to do it, Dropbox, those different things. One cool feature that um, I know some classes have done before, last video I talked about using the Sketch app. After the kids create a sketch, they could import it into Educrations and then use their voice to talk about and explain their different learning. So for this example, if we had done this activity in the classroom, the kids can then record what their learning was and the different parts of it. So it's, it's kind of a way to do a um, PowerPoint with audio type things. Down at the bottom, you can see you can add different pages on there as well. Um, we don't do a whole lot with pages because there's some other apps I like that are better for making books. But that option is there, and since it's free, it's a good way to start with the kids on that. So I'm going to go ahead and erase all of this stuff by pressing the undo button. Get back to the normal screen. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to record. Um, we are going to insert a picture. And let's, let's learn about Texas. So we're going to talk about my favorite meal, the Longhorn, here. So if I was doing an activity with the kids and we were labeling the Longhorn or discussing the different symbols in the class, up here in the top, there's the record button. So as soon as I record that, anything that's happening on the screen or um, any of the audio will be recorded. So let's go back here and add another photo. And let's say we want to talk about our, let's use the elephant again. Actually, since it's so close to pumpkin season, we can go in and find a pumpkin. I believe I have a pumpkin somewhere in here. There we go. So this is an activity we're going to do in my classroom pretty soon. A uh, really cool thing I've, I learned last year was to cut the pumpkins in half 
instead of just cut the top off and the kids were really able to get into it and um, explore it more. So let's say that we were talking to the parents about our exploration in our science center. I'd have a kid come up and describe things that they um, learned or saw. So we're gonna press record and um, pretend like a kid is explaining. So you can see at the top the recording has started, so it is recording anything I'm doing. So if the kid were to say um, down here, they could you know draw whatever they wanted about the stem and talk about that, or they could highlight the seeds and different parts on that. They could write the word if they wanted to write the word on there. And again, it's recording what they're saying as well as what's on the screen. So I'm gonna press pause. My favorite part about this app using it in the classroom is I'm able to get more than one kid to explain what they're seeing and what they're doing and then put that all together in one video by pausing and starting again. And I have an example of that um, that I'll put in the post that we did with math with decomposing the number 10. So we're going to say that we're done with this activity. I'm going to go up here and press done. And then there's just a few things that you need to know to finish out this process. You're going to save it, of course and give it a title. We will call it pumpkin. And I'm going to press next up here at the top. And then the important thing is it does need to be a public lesson if you want um, to be able to share it. Since I don't use the kids faces, it's just their audio. Um, this is something that I never have a problem with. So we're going to make it public. And then subject area, I always just leave it as math because it's the first thing that pops up and it saves me time. You can decide if you want to sort them by subjects or not. I don't think it's very important um, unless you're doing this with a large group of kids. So you can see it's saved in here to my lessons. This is still on the iPad. And right now we're going to leave the iPad and go to the Educations Online. So now I'm on the web browser and you can see that I'm at Educations and I'm logged in over here. And I'm going to refresh it, and that lesson that we just made is already there online. So there's two ways that you can share this lesson. I'll let it play real quick. So you, so you can, can see at the top of the recording, and, you, and it will go through it all. So you can sh share it multiple ways over here. You can embed it in your website. You can share the link. You can tweet about it. Um, at the top here, you can just share this link for the parents directly. Um, and then I want to bring back the iPad here because within the app you can also share um, directly from the iPad so hopefully that will come back up I didn't take it off but when you're when you're done and you play the um, finished version directly from the iPad you get the option to share multiple um, ways where it's real easy and if it doesn't pop back up I'll put an image at the bottom that kinda shows you what buttons to press for that again this is just a basics of what you can do with Educurations is kind of unlimited. We use it a lot in my classroom for pulling in images that we make on other apps and then using the audio feature to record them talking about what they've learned from those apps. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I appreciate you watching.